One piece of smart technology could help solve a murder mystery in Arkansas. Police have charged James Bates with first degree murder. He's accused of strangling and drowning a man in a bathtub last year. And now investigators want Amazon to hand over data from Bates' virtual assistant, known as the Amazon Echo. In their warrant, they say data from the device could help them prosecute Bates. 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty has been following the case and joins me now. Aaron, with my own with your Alexa. Own. Yes, I brought her from home. She travels with you. <laughs> Does not have information that we won't know about, though, right now. How are they looking to this virtual assistant to help in this case? Well, I think, as the defense would say, it's a bit of a fishing expedition. Okay. Even though he has been charged with first degree murder, the defense case is that this was an accident. And so the prosecution needs more evidence, um, and they're hoping. So now how this thing works, as it's a small computer. Right. It is on all the time, but it's only recording after you use a hot word. And in the case of the Amazon device, it's Alexa. So if this was plugged in, this blue light would come on as soon as I say Alexa, and then it records my question okay. and records anything Everything else, else going, going on in the room. So according to the prosecution, this was on the evening before this man was found dead. And they're hoping, because it was streaming music, they say, I think there's some dispute about whether it was being used, um, but they said because it was streaming music, maybe it picked up sound around the room. They're not going to get what happened all night. They're not going to be able to get, even if there was a murder, but they get snippets and they may be able to set a timeline. Right. But right now they don't know what they're going to get. A, you said it's a fishing expedition. It yes. really is because they have no idea if there's anything on the device. How has Amazon responded? Well, so I was far? just going to say that's why Amazon so far has said no. And the way they worded their um, their refusal, and they they had a statement that basically said, "We're not going to comply with an overbroad." Uh, request and so it sounds like and I think it's very possible it sounds like that if the prosecution can narrow down if investigators can narrow down their search they might this is not that much different from a home computer that investigators can take on um, and search what actually look your at your search, search. yeah right. exactly what's different about this and what's very concerning to me and why I find this so important of a story is because all right, this, when you're doing a search on a computer, mm -hmm. you're typing, you might do a typo. On this, you're using your voice. And then this device takes your voice, um, sends it to a third party, in this case, Amazon, right. takes that, that audio file and turns it into a text. There can be a mistake made. And we don't know how long Amazon hangs on to the audio. Maybe they only hang on to the text. What if it's wrong? Now, I went back and looked at my search history and it did appear that it was pretty much what I remember, but it might not have been. We've all had that moment, no matter what it is, Siri, asking Siri a question, and, and the response is not to the question that you uh, not actually, at it's all. not what you not just at asked. All. How about in the future? Will this have an impact, do you think, on cases going forward? Well, I think that at some point that there will be. I mean, I think investigators will get some access to this if they can narrow it down enough. I think it's just the next, um, it's like the battle that's been going on between government, which wants information for an investigation, yep. has a state interest in that, and then your right to privacy. But I think the argument will be, do you really have an expectation of privacy? Oh, privacy here. You yeah. took it home. You know that it's sending information to Amazon. Right. Do you I, really have that right to privacy? Or is it a part of you? Do you feel like it's a part of you and that's the privacy that you feel you want extended? Right, but you, you know, whether it that is would going stand out. up in right. a court, you might think you have that privacy, but, you don't. but will a court actually allow you, or will it take the same way? They could take your computer and search your they history. They take your text messages, we've seen it I mean, before. the only way this guy would really be in trouble is if afterwards he said something like, uh, hey, Alexa, how do you clean up <laughs> blood in a hot right, tub? Right. How do you get rid uh, of a body, That Alexa. could be a problem, yeah. but, um, but really what they're going to get at the most are snippets well, of sound. We will continue to follow it. Aaron, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.